Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and today we are going to be learning if LEGO Star Wars Boba Fett's Slave 1 will float. But that's not all. We are also going to be learning if the ATTE from 2008 can float, Kylo Ren's shuttle, the First Order Star Destroyer, the new Imperial shuttle, the U-Wing Starfighter, Luke's X-Wing, and a boat full of LEGO Star Wars clone troopers can float. Now before we get into all this, I'm going to ask you all to smash that like button as well as turn on post notifications when you subscribe. And if you want to see me drop the UCS Republic gunship in a few weeks, then make sure to hit that like button because it'll happen. Just remember to like the video. But with that said, let's get into it. If this video hits 1,000 likes, I will drop the UCS Republic gunship into the water. Now to start off, we are going to be dropping the ATTE Walker. Now this is all terrains, but can it actually do all terrains, including water? Let's find out. We're going to start with a pretty light drop for this one, just because it is a 13-year-old Lego set, which is crazy. Uh, but we're going to do that right now. Okay guys, now you didn't exactly see the damage, which was kind of a disappointing, but we did lose some parts. We lost the bottom leg, which is rough. We lost this part. We have a part drowning towards the bottom, so I'm going to get that, as well as the main bulk. However, it looks like Gary held afloat. It is a bit of a mess, um, but not too bad. I just didn't want to throw this one like crazy because it is not in the best condition possible, um, but I'm going to let that dry out, and let's get into our next one before I'm going to check the waters to see if there is anything left. Next up, we are going to be dropping Kylo Ren's shuttle. This is a great set and I cannot wait to see how it flies all the way from over there. looking good. I hope you guys saw that. I hope that was a decent shot. Um, wow. Okay, so first off, we have some pieces over here. Pretty easy to see, uh, which is nice. You've got this piece. Uh, it, that collision, though, that was crazy. I'm gonna, I got these pieces. Oh no, there's some on the bottom. I don't want to go swimming. No, I'm just kidding. So I'm gonna go collect those up and show you what it looks like. Oh no, this, this was actually how they came out. General Pride, it's kind of crazy. I like the way he looks. Oh my gosh. Uh, brightness is hard out here. I, I will say that much. Uh, but yeah, it is a mess. This was terrible damage. Oh, the brightness is killing me. Uh, yeah, that looks insane. I absolutely... This is so sad. So sad. Oh, that's just not going to be fun to clean up. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Slave one. Now, this is an absolutely stunning ship, obviously. It does... Indeed, have the Clone Army Customs of Boba Fett, which is sick, and I am absolutely in love. They look great. I love, love, love this ship. It is beautiful, and let's see what it looks like when we throw it under the water. a grand total of zero damage like literally it's no damage at all the slave one is a beastie boy and boba fett is in there he's a little moist sure um but literally nothing changed that's kind of insane uh, really sturdy model it really shows how far lego has come in terms of design from the damage you saw here next up ladies and gentlemen we have the new 2021 x-wing and i honestly don't think anything's gonna happen with this one uh, but let's see i'm curious three Two, one. Okay, well, I was wrong. Uh, it lost an entire wing, which was way more than I thought. It also lost this piece here. Uh, you saw that little, like, you know, crash landing in the water on Camino. That's what we call this. Uh, R2 and Luke are fine. As you know, all the figures we're putting in here are pretty fun. Um, but yeah, no crazy damage. Still a decent uh, landing. And, you know, I think they're going to survive this one. I think, you know, 
Aside from moisture damage. Oh, wait, that's wedge. Oops. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty good. I think Luke did a good job uh, with this build, <laughs> with his X-Wing. Let's move into the next one. Captain! Yeah, yeah? So we are bringing back a classic segment from last time, the clone tankers versus the clanka boats. Um, now these come with General Grievous and his two droids this year in a land speeder. And then this one also is some clone boys with Obi-Wan Kornobi as well as Gary in a little Batman floaty uh, because, you know, he, he can't swim. And then Commander Cody. Uh, he's holding that so I can find him and that he doesn't get lost. Uh, and then we also have the 501st Army. This is kind of like they're going to storm the Normandy beaches. Uh, but but they're in Lego and they're clone troopers. Uh, so yeah, I am going to drop those right now. Oh no, the absolute carnage. My boys. No, the clone boys. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so terrible. Oh, there's Cody. Oh, save them. Save them. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, all the carnage. Uh, let's go find them. So we have some clone boys over here. Let's zoom out, actually. Okay, we're going to load up the clone boys. Clone boys, get saved. Okay, we're saving all the clone boys. Obi-Wan Kenobi, he is safe. We have Gary, he is safe. I thought he'd survive. We have some more clone boys. Oh, that's so, that's so tragic. Oh, blaster gun. That, that's pretty tragic. Oh, this is so sad. It's a massacre. We're saving the bodies for the families that don't exist because they're clone boys. Um, but yeah, that, that is pretty sad. Um, now, we, ne we need to go try, obviously, the clanker boat. So let's do that right now. Okay, so this, one, this one's going to be pretty simple. Yeah, nothing changed. I think they lost a droid. Oh, no. I don't know if you guys can see that. No, no, no. That comes later. So stay tuned. Was that rolling? Was that rolling? I, I feel like I have some explaining to do. Um, long story short, don't run by the pool. I, I was trying to like rush through the camera. Yeah. Anyway, now we are going to be uh, dropping the Imperial shuttle. Uh, it kind of already got a little wet. Uh, and it didn't have much damage, so I am going to be throwing it a lot higher, and I'm just going to go. Whoa. Okay, we lost a wing. Oh no, that's no bueno at all. Okay, so we have a piece at the bottom. Uh, you guys can see that there. Uh, we also have this piece, uh, and here's the main bulk we lost the cockpit which is all the way in the deep end and oh my gosh is that a piece down there i hope not i'm gonna throw that there here is the main bulk of it uh, is darth vader and luke skywalker still alive oh i forgot to take off vader's cape that's no good and then we have the officer vader state in there uh yeah we are going to save you as well as that piece at the bottom uh let's go drop it off because oh my gosh that is so sad so here is the U-Wing. Inside we have a little uh, Rebel Officer, we have another guy, and we have Tau Merrick in the cockpit. All very exciting, and we are going to put them in the water right now. Okay, we're going in now to see what has happened to the U-Wing. Uh, it's pretty scary. Let's take a look. Uh, it is not looking too bad. Actually, it looks really good. This is a five-year-old set. Uh, we did lose our technician. I had a feeling that would happen. Uh, and the door is a little loose on both sides. Uh, but overall, not bad a display for our U-Wing fighter. One casualty. That's pretty good.
yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the first order Star Destroyer to be dropped. Now, I expect this one to be absolutely obliterated, namely because it has a terrible bottom portion. It's not structurally sound. I don't want to put this one back together, I want it to be pretty simple, but as you saw we have Gary and a bunch of minifigures in here, I am so excited to see this thing blow up, but first, you all have to subscribe, we are so close to 20,000 subscribers and I need your help, it is so difficult and I know this will take forever, so if you enjoyed this video, y you gotta subscribe, just do it, let's go. The poor ship. So if you guys didn't see, we took a few shots actually because uh, it didn't break well the first time or we didn't get a good shot. Uh, but wow, Ugh. the poor boys. Oh no, the stormtroopers are floater. Uh, they're, yeah, they're all underwater. I'm scared to see the structural damage on the bottom, which I kind of just looked at. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, let's let that drain. Oh, that's, that's rough. That is rough. Here is all of the carnage. It gets kind of worse as you go on. Uh, not very, very nice, but yeah, that is crazy. Okay guys, so with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this pool video. Again, if you want to see the UCS Republic gunship dropped in the water, remember to smash like and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.